do it so I ordered an um updated the inverter. Got a three kilowatt of energy. Mm, that smells good. Mmm. Three thousand watts. Come with these young lead cords, which you could have parallel up. I might have to make my own, I think. Yeah, I could buy some. Better than my local tech, uh, Jay can't make my own leads up. Kind of gets messed where you have to parallel up leads like that for the current. I'd rather make some thick single cords up for that. Made in China, as I all are. 11 to 16 volts. That's quality, look at that. It's got some quality capacitors in there from what I can see. They look like um, nipple chemical capacitors in there. Quite a nice inverter. Oh. We have a transfer switch and it's not only this is an inverter, this is also a UPS. A couple of Australian sockets on it. The earlier models had death adapters inbuilt. Oh, it's got a charge. Been test AC fuse, you plug your power in there, and this is basically a UPS. Um, it's not going to fit with the emission tower there it is. I'll have to make a new case. Oh, I might just fit there. Yeah, I'm having a bit of trouble with my um, mesh tower inverter. The inverter itself is fine, but um, I was air frying with it one day, and she kept triggering and turning on and off intermittently with an air under voltage alarm. And I smelled something in that inverter burning. Still works all right, but now there's a voltage drop. Anything over 500 watts low, the voltage drops by a volt. And it just yeah, cuts off and sits at about 10.8 volts. Anything about about 700 watts, it'll just sit on 10.8 volts. In here, I've got a, um, a resistance joint. It's still a bit hot now. So something in here has got a bad connection inside here. This has all been burnt. And uh, now the inverter's not gonna work properly now because it's got such a resistance joint there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to isolate my supply and um, replace this with a 3000 watt of energy. And I can finally run some decent equipment inside this thing off the grid. This thing is only um, as good as the air fryer. The air fryer had this pretty much on its limit. And that's what actually um, caused this fault. Running the, the, the 1500 watt air fryer, running this thing at its maximum. And it was pulling 1500 watts for half an hour. The batches are fine, but here it started getting a bit smoky and hot. So I've wrecked that now. So I decommissioned this one and uh, upgraded it. I'll plug the Bluetooth thing into this too. This is actually connecting my phone. So I don't like these little short wires. I don't have to get some upgrades going on here, I think. Um, the Mishto ones are a bit thicker. They're long, but I think I've got a problem because they've actually um too thin. They're quite thin though, so uh, I've got to make my own leads up. I'll get some new leads, one meter of each uh, leads made up. Make up some new leads like this one, nice and thick. This will be better, especially with a 3000 watt inverter. Those uh, Mishto ones are too thin. Plus the lead's gotten damaged too, it's got a bit hot and smoked. Anyway, so this will be a nice upgrade now. It's quite a nice inverter for the price, this thing was on special too. Got a lot of good reviews these energy inverters. Do a quick open up and give you a look inside. Okay, the oil's well. They say you shouldn't open it up to avoid the warranty, but I'm doing a David Jones at the moment. I want to just observe make sure we've got the right standards. We've got earthing. It's actually a proper earthing standard cable using that we're using here. Earths on there, which is a ground trace on the circuit board, which is going directly to the casing on here. So 35 amp fuses, replaceable too. 12 of those. There your transformers there. 1500 watts plus 1500 watts. So it's 3000 watts. There's your filtration there. 
shape here, okay, they're not actually um, hit point chemical ones. 450 volts, 20 mark forward. Surge protection, this is the input side of it. There's a big transistors here, relays. Quality sockets, quality um, in there. Here's a wall silicon. The high temperature, uh, similar high temperature sheathing table. JP. One of the, all 105 degrees Celsius sort of caps, which is good. There's all your switching side of it. There's more switching side. 12 there, another 12 transistors on there. Temperature control, uh, temperature monitored. Temperature monitored, temperature monitored. And there's your ground, go onto the case, go onto the ground of the circuit board. So that, this one actually ties the ground to the negative. So negative is tied to ground. Interesting. These fans here, they're serviceable too, so I can take those out if they get noisy and, and annoying. Very, very not nicely built inverter. There's a, these are sitting like absolutely bloody hot takes. People are buying these things like crazy. So, um, I had to pre-order this. They were sold out for about a couple of months, so nice big bus bars going in there. Eight of these wires. This will, there's another fan there, which is good. This will pull about, I don't know, 250 amps DC at max, max uh, load. These are too bad, but these actual energy inverters have a really nice reviews on them. Put a bit of charge on that, but I'm going to pre-charge it before I connect the, um, connect the solar up. There's going to be a big spark. That's a charge up all these capacitors here. Which are all, um, what are they? What are the values? Turn it toward the microphone, 16 volt. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, There's 12 there, there's 24 of those. They're all in parallel, so that's 16 microfarad. What's that mean by 16 microfarad? So we're 22 out of microfarad. Uh, times 12 plus that one times 12, so... That's not a quick rough calculation. Give me a calculator right here. 2 300 times 12. 26, that's 400. There's more of those, so... 26400 times 2, 53,800 microfarads. That's going to be a big spark because they're on parallel and you've got another set of them here. You times the 226 value together. So 53,800 microfarads is a lot of charge to charge up. So this will make a big spark when I connect it. So there's all the charge. That's quite a nicely made inverter. Anyway, I'm going to go off to my local um, J car and uh, get some better wiring. These are too short anyway, I think. I'll get some better wiring. So we all comply to the Australian standard, so that's good. Except this Chinese power cord. Yep, still Chinese standard there. No sleeved pins and the earths at the top which is a Chinese standard there. That's a nice cord though. Doesn't smell too bad of quality that I can see. But it's just not compliant. No sleeve pins. Not compliant with the Australian standards. And it is technically illegal too. Because you cannot sell stuff like that that's not compliant in Australia. But it's alright. That's only the, the movable cord which is alright. Uh, this is a bit different but one thing I like on the Mishdal inverters in particular, you got all your readings here, exactly what's on the screen out there. But this energy inverter doesn't do that. It will register it via a Bluetooth dongle, which I think you can plug it in in place instead of this. But I'll have to look into it. This might not be the right mod that has that functionality. The other one, there's a, another version of energy mate, which is an inverter charger, which has the uh, Bluetooth connectivity in a port like that. But I don't think I need this. That's all right. Let's go get some proper wiring for this thing. Okay, viewers, well, it's all done. There we go. It's all done now. Now I can uh, 
repair the mesh to run and fix all that up and use that for something else. There's one thing that these cheap inverters do is when you um or the mesh to run, especially you plug wall warts in it, it surges and cuts out briefly. That's one thing I didn't like about it. Yeah, the color one doesn't really do that. Except when I plug something with a inductive like the transformers and things for big power supplies like the big amp on a computer desk. The NAD made the edit collar trip and flinch a little bit, but it started up. The mesh they wouldn't start that up. This thing pulls too much in rush off it. I have yet to try it on this energy inverter. And see how it starts that big amp before I up with anything whilst running all these. That'd be a good test. A bit of inductive um, in rush be a good test for it. Anyway. That concludes this uh, for now, so thanks for watching.